For this project, we are going to be using poly pellets and polyfill fiberfill, both from Fairfield World. All right, so we're starting off with a clean white sock. I got these at Dollar Tree, but of course you can find white socks anywhere. My son is helping me out. He's grabbing some um, handfuls of polyfill fiberfill and pushing it into the toe end of the sock. You can see he had a lot of fun doing this. Doesn't quite have enough fill in there, so he's gonna add some more. I'm gonna keep adding little wads until you get about a tennis ball size head on this sock. So once it's stuffed and fluffed enough, you're gonna twist it and tie it off with a little bit of twine. And there's the head. Use fabric paint to paint the head any color you want. I used some black fabric paint to add the eyes and some pink cheeks. And now I'm gonna use red fabric paint to make the mouth. The reason we wanna use fabric paint is it's specially formulated to kind of stay soft so you don't have something really crunchy and stiff. All I did to make the mouth was make a little red heart shape using my fine brush. So to give our angel's body some weight and to keep it from toppling over under that big head, we're gonna add poly pellets. Uh, I tend to make a mess with poly pellets, so what I like to do is put them in a sandwich bag and then they are all contained and I don't have to worry about spilling them everywhere. So I've got them in my little sandwich baggie and see, it's already got like a body shape. I'm gonna push that into the sock and it's starting to look like an angel body. So now I'm gonna take some more of that polyfill and push that around the baggie that has the poly pellets. So this will make sure that the body is nice and soft like a stuffy. After I was done stuffing the body, I stitched up the end of the sock and then cut off the excess sock fabric there. And to cover up that base, I cut an oval piece of felt that I'm just going to hot glue onto the bottom to hide that seam and also to make the angel stand up a little bit better because now it'll have more of a flat bottom. She's starting to look like an angel, so let's give her some wings. I used some iridescent ribbon to make a bow and just stitch that onto the back to create the wings. Next up, we're going to make a collar. I used some vintage lace, stitched up the edge and then pulled it together. So see, now it's got that pretty little angel collar look that I can put around her neck and sew the ends together. And finally, we're gonna use some Spanish moss to give her some hair. This is probably the messiest part of this project. You're just gonna take a couple of pieces and hot glue them onto her head until you have the desired look. but not least, our angel needs a halo. So I took some craft wire, formed it into a circle, and hot glue it onto the top of her head. Isn't she sweet? I hope you'll try making a few of these. They're really fun and easy to make. <laughs> 